Hello and welcome to today's training. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Sophia and I am a life and relationship coach. I help women who feel lost, stuck and not enough to feel confident, passionate and fulfilled in their life and relationship. The purpose of today's training is for you to feel good enough just the way you are right now. At the end of this training, I will be giving away a valuable gift for those who watch to the end. So make sure you watch the entire training. Now, you might be thinking, why do I need to feel good enough in order to have a great life and relationship? Well, the reason is, is that our thoughts dictate our feelings and the quality of our life is determined by our emotions. So our feelings and you know how we feel on a day-to-day -day basis is really, really important because how we feel will dictate the actions we take and the actions we take will dictate our results, right? and where you are right now is a result of how you feel. So it's really important we go to the core problem where all of this starts, which is the thoughts in our head, because that dictates everything. From my experience and training as a life and relationship coach, I have noticed a common theme or pattern in people. Even though we all come from different walks of life and we've all had very different experiences, we all have the same fears. I've noticed it comes down to two main fears. The first being that we feel and believe that we are not good enough, whether that is we're not smart enough, we're not pretty enough, we're not tall enough, we're not successful enough, we're not rich enough, whatever it is you believe, we often believe that we're not good enough to some degree and therefore, which leads me to belief or fear number two, which is that we won't be loved. And they are the two most painful fears we as humans can have, that we're not good enough and that we won't be loved. Money, fame and success are not enough to counter if you do not feel good enough just the way you are. And I think many famous people have showed and proved that to us. We see so many famous people who are miserable, who turn to drugs and alcohol or end their life unfortunately, because they had everything and they still didn't feel good. And that just goes to show how important it is that we feel good enough. And I'm so passionate about this because I was once there. I was once in a place where I really didn't think I was good enough. And I'm so grateful that I've learned all the skills to change that. And today I'm going to be sharing some of the most important tips when it comes to feeling good enough just the way you are. So the first key insight that I would like to share with you is that you have to feed your mind what you want. Your life right now is a result of the thoughts you think and the beliefs that you believe. So trying to change your bad habits and actions only works long term if you first change your thoughts. And that's why we're starting there. Your mind does what it truly thinks you want it to do. So it's always listening to you. So if you're walking around saying you're not good enough, it's going to believe that and therefore act accordingly. So it's really, really beneficial that we are so careful with our wording. It's so important that we tell ourselves empowering thoughts. So if you want to feel good enough, you have to tell yourself that you are. You aren't just gonna wake up one day and feel that. You have to change that limiting belief. So start by saying it all the time to yourself. So the first exercise I'm gonna give you is to write I am good enough. Write a phrase like that and stick it up somewhere that you'll see it all the time. Whether it's your bathroom mirror or in your closet or next to your bed or in your car or on your fridge, put it somewhere or as many places as possible where you will see it on a regular basis. And then my task is for you to say it every single day out loud. The more you say it, the more you'll start to believe it. You just must be consistent with this. That is really, really important. You can't just say it once and then suddenly you're gonna believe it forever. The second insight I would like to share with you is about saying goodbye to your unhelpful thoughts. We all have them right. That little voice in your head that's telling you you're not enough, you know, you can't do this, don't do this, stay small, stay in your comfort zone. I'm sure some of those thoughts resonate. I've had all of them plus so much more in the past. 
These thoughts that we run around with thinking we're not good enough is our brain trying to protect ourselves. It's trying to keep us small so that we don't burn our energy and go out of our comfort zone into the unknown. You know, we have a two million year old brain that likes to keep us safe and protected because back thousands of years ago when we had tigers and lions chasing us, we needed to have that switch on to alert us of any fear or unknown. However, we don't live in that society anymore. You know, we live in a very different world now where we don't have tigers chasing us and so we shouldn't be so afraid of the unknown. We don't need those thoughts to protect us from doing those crazy things because often, those that go out of their comfort zone grow and when we grow that's when we truly feel good and that's when you know by taking those actions we create new beliefs that we can do anything and we start living our dream life i really want you to believe that your thoughts are not you and i'll give a quick example two people were in a car accident they were in the same car and they experienced the same accident they survived but two people came out with two very different outlooks on what that situation meant. One person said it was an absolute miracle, you know, we're so lucky we survived, you know, I'm so grateful, I'll never take life for granted again. And the other person said, oh my God, we nearly died, that was the worst experience ever, blah, blah, blah. They're two very different outlooks on the exact same situation. Which one's right? Now, there is no right answer. It's your perception of your experience. However, which one is going to help you? Is it the one where you think you nearly died and everything's gone wrong and crazy and terrible and you know, oh no, like my car's broken? Or is it life is a gift and I'm never gonna take this for granted again because I just survived, this is a miracle. One is so much more empowering. One will get you to move forward and take learnings and one will stop you in life. This person might decide, that's it, I'm never driving again. And one person might be, wow, I'm gonna live my life to the absolute fullest. Same situation, two different outlooks. And it goes to show that our thoughts aren't facts, it's conditioning based on previous experiences and that's just how our brain is wired. We can change this. It takes work and I love helping my clients with this one-on-one -on -one, um, to dive deep into you know, how your thoughts work. But it's really important to know that your thoughts are not you. So when you're telling yourself you're not good enough and all these reasons why you can't do something, I just want you to question for one second that they might not be true. They feel true because it feels terrible and you've been thinking it for so long so it must be true and you have so much evidence of why it is but maybe that evidence is there because that's all you can see because that's the lens you're looking through. So this exercise for tip number two is I want you to name that part of you that says those thoughts so we can begin to detach those thoughts from us because they're not us. So for example, I could say, oh, it's just silly Sophia here again, or it's just the Joker here again, or Susan's here telling me I'm not good enough, I'm just gonna let her walk on by because I'm not listening to that. Whereas when we say, it's my thought, I believe I'm not good enough, we hold on to this thought and therefore it's so much harder to let go because it's ours. But if we give it to that person, that little voice in our head, you know, it's not ours and we can so much easier let it go when we anticipate it coming. I know these thoughts are gonna come. I've done so much work in personal development over the last few years and those thoughts still come up for me when I attempt new challenges and step out of my comfort zone, which is something I'm doing on a daily basis with my career and um, my goals, right? And so if I listened to that thought every time, I would not be where I am today. So I just let silly Sophia come in. Hello, yes, I can see what you're trying to do here, but you know, have a good day, goodbye. Just, you know, make it fun. Talk to that little voice in your head that's not serving you, right? Detach from it. So that's exercise number two. And my third tip for today is repetition, repetition, repetition. We're gonna have to make anything that is negative in our life any negative thoughts really unfamiliar. So right now, it might be pretty familiar for you to say I'm not good enough. Well, we're going to make that unfamiliar by not giving any energy to it. And we're gonna make anything positive and empowering really, really familiar by using repetition. 
We are going to be saying these things all the time and repeating it in our mind and forgetting about the familiar. We're going to make this very unfamiliar. For example, you might want to make exercising familiar. You just start doing it every day. You t take small steps every single day and you tell yourself, I am going to make exercise familiar. Or for example, I am a big tea drinker. I love tea. And many, many years ago, I used to love a lot of sugar in my tea. I couldn't drink tea without sugar. I decided one day that enough was enough. If I'm gonna drink tea multiple times a day, I cannot be having all these teaspoons of sugar. So I decided to make sugar in my tea unfamiliar. At first, tea without sugar did not taste good, but I knew if I just kept drinking it, eventually I would like it. And I completely transformed the way I thought. And now I couldn't put even half a teaspoon of sugar in my tea. It would be absolutely too sweet. And a few years ago, I would have had at least four teaspoons in one mug of tea. So I made sugar in my tea very, very unfamiliar and I made sugarless tea very, very familiar. And you can do this too. I want you to do one small thing in the direction of your goals and your dreams every single day. That way, even if it's the smallest step, you're guaranteed to move forward because you're taking baby steps towards what you want every single day. You must commit to that. If you don't, you're not gonna follow through. You have to make taking action towards your goals very familiar. That is now the type of person you are. I'm the type of person who takes action towards my goals every single day and I make that familiar even if it's uncomfortable. So the third exercise I'm going to be sharing today is to decide on one habit that you are going to make unfamiliar. So a bad habit that is currently in your life and you're going to make that unfamiliar. And then you're going to choose a new habit that you're going to make really, really familiar using repetition. If you implement these three simple steps, it is guaranteed you'll move towards your goals and feel better. Now, if you have watched to the end of this video, which if you're listening to me right now, I believe you have, then I firstly want to congratulate you because you are the type of person that really cares about changing your life and creating the life that you deserve and desire. Because you're so committed and you've watched to the end of this video, I would like to gift you with something. I am extremely passionate about helping women to take their life to the next level and feel good enough just the way they are so that they can transform the quality of their life and their relationships. I am gifting you a 45 minute free coaching experience with me one on one. You and I will dive deep into where you are, where you want to be and how you can get there. I have so much coaching experience and training and knowledge behind me that I am confident I can help you to transform your life. Now, I usually charge hundreds of dollars for a one-on-one -on -one session with me. I would love to be on your journey to transform your life. Now, if this is something you're interested in, then I suggest you message me right now, whether it's on one of my social media platforms or on my website, you can book in a call and I'll have a free session with you. This is for committed people only who want to take their life to the absolute next level. And if you are that person, then get in contact with me right now and we can begin your journey to transforming your life. I can't wait to hear from you and begin working with you. Have a lovely day and I'll speak to you really soon. Bye.